Excuse their poop. We gotta clean their um thing. But they're almost two weeks old, and we have one with his eyes open. Beamer. When he turns around, you'll see he has one eye open, y'all. So he's the only one that can really see. So far. Baby, show him Beamer. Excuse me, little mama. Look, Beamer. Look. Look, y'all. Omg. Panda's eyes are open. Panda. He might not like the light. She might not like the light. But her eyes are opening. They're blue, baby. Panda's eyes are blue. And then, you know, everyone else is eating right now. But yes, OMG. I'm so excited. We'll show you guys later when everyone else opens their eyes, but they're slowly but surely. So what up y'all? Y'all probably can't hear me because the washer is going. But I just cooked some spaghetti. It smells really good. And yeah, we haven't really been doing much today. But let me let y'all see it. Huh? I'm talking to the camera. But yeah. So we're gonna eat. Watch a little TV. Queen's watching me. But yeah, eat, watch a little TV, finish cleaning. Yeah, it's not very, it's not a very productive day, but you know. But the um, oh no, it has been a very productive day. That's all you have. But I mean, not productive as in not recording because we been busy. But I showed y'all the uh, puppies this morning. Yes, they're cute. They're starting to open their eyes, and I'm so excited because they're like my little children, like my little babies. And I almost cried this morning because Beamer had one eye open. But yeah, I'm not gonna stop recording because y'all can't hear me. But I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all need to watch this movie. Just about this giant. Super fast. Peppermint. Peppermint. Y'all need to watch this movie for real. This is why we ain't been vlogging today because look at this. Okay, y'all watch it on Netflix. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Answer, do they dig it? Yeah, I dig it. I mean, I know y'all want to see it. I don't need to show. Right. Oh, uh, I was saying he gonna have some more of these tomorrow. Okay. Ride right with me. No. So you wanna be me? No, you want to be me. You said my baby gonna use the bathroom. You said you were gonna take her. Actually, I asked you. Actually, you said you were gonna I come back you. and take her. I asked you. <laughs> No. I guess I'll give y'all y'all did tomorrow. No, uh, y'all need this night. I ain't got time. Put the blood in here. What? It's not in there. <laughs> Come on, Beamer. Come on, Beamer. Come on, Beamer. Come on, Beamer. What's up, y'all? It's quite checking in on with y'all. Now, today has been a long day. Been cleaning, grocery shopping. Sorry for the. It still needed me. Got my girlfriend right there. Your fake ass smile. I already know y'all know this dude. Got my puppies. Once again. But back to us. Today, it's just been a long day of cleaning. You know, um, stuff you have to do around your house. You know, those activities. Bathroom. Uh, we had a, we got a bathroom. You know, my dog kind of, she was pregnant. We didn't know it at first, so it's like she will leave droppings. I would say that I ain't gonna say the actual word, but she will leave droppings. It would piss on the balcony, so like people below us, I know they kind of felt the way about it. I sent them apology at the back, but I had cleaned it off today. Thank you, running on. Uh. Wash clothes, that's another thing, wash clothes. I hope you brush your, brush your teeth this morning too. We wash clothes, yeah. She's just right there looking. Yeah, we just washing clothes and I'm just tired now. I'm always tired though, listen. 
That's all you have to say if you're tired. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What day is it? Vlogmas 5? Day 5? I guess so. I really don't know. I don't keep up. Well, yeah, it's the fifth day of December. So yes. I get it, boy. It's speed time. I'm going to put y'all dead back in there a minute. Back to you. So what are we doing today? What are we doing tomorrow? Today. It's the vlog this fifth day. So what are we doing today? I mean, day by day. I don't know. What uh, you want to do? That's not what you said a while ago. So. Vlogmas day five. Um, we're going to talk about our like old memories we have from Christmas because, you know, we're like older now. So Christmas isn't the same. As it was when we were younger. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say. Start it off. You can see what's happening. I'm right here. I gotta be the cameraman. It's kind of hard holding, like how, how I was holding it yeah. and doing it. Sorry. Well, how about you start it off? I don't know if I can see both of us in this. I'm gonna I'm try my sure best. One, okay, I remember one Christmas when I was staying with my grannies, at my grannies at the time. I remember staying at my grannies one time, I wanna say my sophomore year. Yeah, yeah, I had got a lot of things for Christmas that year. And that was probably back in 2014, yeah. I remember getting up. Y'all might have to help me with this one now for the gamers out there with the game system because I can't remember how they had so many game systems from now and then, back then. I don't remember if the PS4 had just came out or if it was the end of the PS3 going into the PS4. I knew I had one or two systems, but I had got a new system. I think it was PS4 because Uncharted series came out and I had got all three it might have been two games i can't remember but it came with the bundle with the ps4 and i got some beats that year a bunch of tennis shoes clothes money cell phone some beats some studio i got some beat studios i remember I got to open my PS4 early on Christmas Eve that year, in which I tried to always, every Christmas Eve, open at least one present, but for the most part, I like to wait on Christmas. And it gave me a feeling where I felt like a little kid all over again. And, you know, it's pretty exciting. So it made me feel like a little kid at the candy store, getting everything I wanted. And I was happy for that, and then in that moment, and I feel like one of the, that was like one of the best Christmases I ever had in my life as a kid. Cause uh, my, I would say after those years, Christmas wasn't really the same. Not at least for me in my life. But that was the best one I ever had in my life. Um, I remember like when I was eight years old, I had, I uh, went and had Christmas with my dad in California. And like, that Christmas was like one of the biggest Christmas I had because I, at the point in time, I was his only child at the time. So, you know, like I got everything. But really a lot of that stuff I didn't ask for, but it was like, I had stuff everywhere. I had three or four pairs of shoes. I had like a whole bunch of uh, like fashion designer books because I told them I want to be a fashion designer, which I still do. It's in the making, it's in the works, but you know, it takes time. And um, y'all probably hear them scrapping around. But uh, yeah, and I just, and my dad got me a whole photo album from that year. Like I still got photos from that year where I can just look back and see like, it was basically his whole living room was full of toys and stuff. And so, yeah, that was one of my favorite Christmases. But another one was also like, another one when I was the only child on my mom's side. Cause you know, once you get siblings, it's kind of like, they have to disperse whatever they get, you know? Mm -hmm. So, 
um yeah like i was um about five or six and i remember asking my mom for a game boy because i had saw it on tv where you know they had this little game what was it called like with the little dogs and you could like basically take care of it like it was a real pet and like if you didn't feed it and stuff every day like it would die like you know it was like a real game if y'all know the game comment it down below but um yeah it was a pink game boy and then um i played that thing all day everywhere we went i played it and so being after that every year they would get me like the um newest nintendo until the up into the nintendo 3ds which was in like 2012 or 13 when that one came out it might not have been that late it might have been earlier i can't remember but yeah that was the last one i had got the 3ds and i didn't really play that much i gave it to my little sister my middle sister and she actually um dropped it in the tub so yeah that, that's what i have memories of but like you know, as you get older you really don't really know what to ask for but you or you ask for like big gifts and so I'll, every year i would have a big gift that i would get like um a game system or a computer phone clothes whatever i really wanted that year and then other stuff my parents would just get you know just whatever they chose to get so yeah i mean uh as far as like memories or traditions every year we did bake cookies for santa and you know i remember catching my dad when you're drinking the milk from santa's cookies but um i, I didn't i've never caught my parents my uh my mom my stepdad but you know we would always make cookies every year sometimes we'll make them like fresh you know roll out the dough and stuff and do the cookie cutters and other years we would like um either give them or give him oreos or chips away if we didn't want to make them most of most of the years we did make them and yeah and we got and then we go eat at my grandma's house every christmas and she give us her gifts but yeah that's that's really all i remember just the food and the gifts but you know as you get older it's kind of like i'll be i want to give them more than they give me honestly because i really don't know what to ask for at this age other than money or clothes or like i said a certain big gift that i want that i don't want to pay for myself this year your arm hurt and you want me how this year i'm so happy because I, I finally got some puppies and that's been on my biggest wish list as being a kid my whole life but i'm not a kid no more and uh yeah, I got a bunch of puppies scrounging around up in there. I got for sale. You know, first come, first serve, deposits. I mean, I, I told. Hold on, I had to make sure I didn't. I told it. one person I'm just gonna do a rehome fee for them, but I mean, if they don't come through, I'm not doing a rehome fee because I know those puppies worth, and I want them to be on their soul, to be in a great household, mm -hmm. and raised right with trustworthy people, and. Yeah, I'm so happy because anybody knows me, I'm a dog lover. I used to hate them at first because I thought dogs were vicious. And I guess because the neighborhood I grew up in going up, you know, you got this side where you got dogs that might have rabies, dogs that might be raised by yeah, got certain on. people. They got certain activities going on, so they can't tend to their dogs all day. And some people got dogs around fences. They shouldn't be having around fences because they taller than the fancy. So you see all kinds of dogs when you grow up. And some dogs can traumatize you and scare you into not liking them and never want to be around them. But that wasn't the case for me. I had to learn that when you see dogs chasing you, they're going to go after whoever's running. You could be the fastest, whatever. They're going to go after whoever's running. They sense fear. They know when you, you're happy and all that, they can, they can sense emotions. So there's no need to, no need of trying to run away from them, this and that. Most of the time you see their tail wagging and they running towards you, they just trying to drop on you because they love you or mm -hmm. they happy to see you if they don't know you. Now, if it's a vicious dog, they're not going to do all that. Tail going to be down, yeah, they going to give you that look. It's over with. But for me personally, they were a blessing to me because I don't want them puppies, I really just ate puppy my whole life and getting Bentley the mother of the puppies. And we didn't know she was pregnant she when we got her. She didn't know she was pregnant when we got her. Like, she was you a could have saw her, 
I, and I'm sorry we didn't. We weren't thinking about taking pictures like the first day and stuff that yeah. we got her. Yeah, we were so excited. We like just we didn't take pictures. Excited, and I was more concerned on her health side than being working, focused on giving her um, attention to being pregnant. So, because you could have seen her stomach and stuff, you'd have been like, you'd have been like, hey, she ain't capable of having our babies. Like mm-hmm. when we took her to the vet, that's what they said. And they only judged her. They judged off her appearance. Yeah, they and didn't even pregnant. know she was pregnant. Like, it was just like, no, she can't have kids. And if she do, she's going to have to have a, a C-section, C-section and all that. And, and I was like, who's going to pay for a thousand dollars for a C-section? Like, if she has them, she has them. If she don't, and, you know, at the time we didn't know she was pregnant. But like I yeah. said, if she don't get pregnant, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. I was just happy to have her. And it just it was like, the more we fed her, loved on her. I watched all the time and it was loved on her conditioning and her stomach started poison. I thought she was just getting big. We thought bit. she was just eating good, you know. And I remember we went home some weeks ago. Can't do exactly details, but some weeks ago. And my uncle was like, hey, that dog pregnant. Mm-hmm. And see, I was going to take her, take her to him anyway to, you know, ask her because yeah. my family deals with a lot of dogs from both sides. Really, my mom's side more, but for sure, I've been around dogs my whole life. So I'm like, dang! When I when I started to see it, I was like, I started counting, pretty much trying to you know, that number of like how many she was gonna have. First, I went from twelve to down to ten to eight. Then I yeah. went to seven, so I was bouncing everywhere, but then I, I just stuck between 10 and 12 because I was like, you know, how big she was, there was no way she wasn't going to have, mm-hmm. not have 10, 10. no more. Yeah. She's saying low. One died, and it hurt my feelings because, I mean, if anybody's ever been through a dog pregnancy or watching them, you know, have babies, mm-hmm. it's like, it's, it's, it's almost literally like a human being except they don't have to have help. Yeah, she, like, shocked me because, like, I came home from work. Like, she was having them all day, one day when I was at work. And, like, I wanted to see because I've never seen, like, a dog have a baby. Never look, you know, some people look it up, but, no, nah, this never just interesting. It's not the same until you see it with your own Yeah, life. so, like, we, I came home and, like, he was like, she still, she might still have some more. And I was like, really? Yeah. You know, so, as soon as we looked down, we thought she was trying to use the bathroom on the floor. She pushing out another one. And that was, like, the tenth one. I think it was the last one. The last and I one. got to see it, you know. And like you were saying, like, it is, like, a different it's, feeling it's when you different. really watch it come out and then, like, you watch them grow, like. Come at the set, she mm-hmm. lick it clean, lick everything off, real, lick it. Take the umbilical cord and right there, mm-hmm. pull it with it, get it out where it don't hurt them and stuff. Yeah. Like, I watched this. It's not the first time that I've been around dogs to see that, but I wanted my girlfriend to see that as well because yeah. it's, it's different and it. It almost, you know, it relates to a human being having a baby itself. We don't come out of sex. We come out of water. Like, we spend stored in water and then it's just, and we out. We be wet and stuff, don't get me wrong. We have to be clean just like them. But we don't have tongues that can clean a whole body. <laughs> medicated. Yeah. So it's just like, when she seen it, she was just like, oh my gosh. Like, she's really having it right here. Yeah. And she, mm-hmm. she watched her leak the set and clean her all off. That was the last puppy and one of the puppies that died. It was it was pretty, very pretty. What color was it? Um, it was it's gonna be all black. I was gonna call that one um double fudge. <laughs> Just call it DL. Cause it was like hot chocolate, but it wasn't like chocolate, it was dark, but like you could say like we relate to candy, like it was chocolate. So I just wanna sit out. It was double switch, cause what she reminded me of, but she was fighting for her air and she just didn't make it like the rest of them. And I tried to get her as much attention as I could, you know, possibly to, to Bentley. Mm-hmm. And Bentley tried, but Bentley, could, you could see it in her own eyes. It was just like, ah, she ain't gonna make it, cause she stopped trying to help her. And I was just like, man. She she was sad. She whined for a minute when I had to take the other puppy and put it where I had to put it. And I was just like, dang! Like I thought we had eleven good ones, but we got ten, and the one yeah. that didn't make, I know it yet. Well, not 
he's it. I know where she's at. Is it right? Yeah. Yeah, we got Yeah, we got Tim, little cutie puppies. And they're starting to open their eyes. Panda, really, her eyes are like open. They more. open now. They yeah. are. Oh, I see. Mm hmm. Look at Ben, like. Look at, look at Panda. Maybe you can get them. Yeah. Right off, Bentley. But it's gonna be upside down with they do. Panda. There's three left here, once again. <laughs> she putting in all that hard work. Yeah. Hey, hey cutie. What'd it do? Like that light is too bright, yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all sleep. Beamer, I just want to show, the folks. show the folks. I just want to show the folks how y'all doing. Look at, look at Mercedes. Look at Mercedes. Sorry, baby girl. Look the tiger, he's asleep. Midnight, is that you? Yeah. Midnight. Mm -hmm, your eyes open too. They're coming open. Look, say cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oreo, I see you over there, Oreo. Making it happen. But yeah. So. I ain't even get to watch no college boys today. I'm gonna dedicate my time to these puppies. Let me know today. But I don't think I missed anything with football today. College football. I already got my, my winners this year. For uh I got my winners for championship. I know who's going to play off. Notre Dame, Alabama, preferably Ohio State. Because I want Justin Fields to win it off in Ohio State. And I ain't gonna say it's gonna beat Alabama because Alabama come up, come and leave. But I just know ain't nobody fooling with Alabama this year. So I don't even like them. But they're, they're, they're the truth. Clemson ain't got enough. North Dame ain't got enough. Good. Panda. Yeah. I'm excited about these puppies, y'all. Like, they're like babies, too. Like, open their eyes. Yeah, I see you too. She looking around like. Yeah, I just wanted y'all to see her, her little cute eyes. She just opened them today. Hey, shout out to my boy DeJoy Strong. Northeast transfer to Coastal Carolina. The boys won today. They be BYU. Yo. Y'all, I'm so. Woo! I'm ready for Mercedes to open her. Mercedes open her eyes. No, they're trying to come out the cage. Okay. Yeah. Y'all, I'm so excited. Yeah. Y'all, I'm so excited. 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 Y'all, like, share this, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm. See mm -hmm. y'all tomorrow for another vlog day. Um, Six. Yeah. And love y'all.